I'm Airman Basic Francis Rufino. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. My AFSC is the Aircraft Hydraulic System Specialist 2 Alpha 635. If my AFSC wasn't there to support the mission, these planes would have one heck of a time getting off the ground. We service everything from engine pumps, accumulators, actuators, ailerons, down to landing gear, brakes, replacing lines. You know, if, if it moves on the plane, we're the ones that take care of it. So I'm PCSing to McGuire Air Force Base up in New Jersey, and I will be in the 605 Maintenance Squadron working on the refuelers. Yeah, Hydro was, I believe, number three on my list of uh, chosen AFSCs. I joined the Air Force because both of my in-laws are both 25-year retired senior master sergeants, and just seeing what the Air Force has done for them, provided for them and their family, is something that I want. You know, I've uh, been with my wife for three years. We're planning on starting a family, and I saw this as a great opportunity to really progress my career in being maintenance uh, and moving forward with something that has a higher power or higher meaning behind turning a wrench. Classroom day to day, we start at 0600 in the morning. We're released at 1600. Uh, depending on what block you're in, it really depends on what you're doing. Block one and two, you get a lot of in-class work. Once you start getting further throughout the course, you get out here, you start working on the planes, taking off engine pumps, actuators, accumulators. Later on, you learn how to jack an aircraft, service struts. Uh, then towards the end of the course, you get into backshop stuff, disassembling, reassembling parts, looking for wear and tear on the actually inside of the components versus just seeing like if it's messed up on the outside. Uh, and then you also get into uh, using the non-portable hydraulic test stand and actually putting pressure to the uh, components and making sure that they're working appropriately. So I, my key to getting up into the top grad position was going through and taking lots and lots of notes. I would go through each of the, the slideshows for every block, every PC. I'd write down the whole slideshow and then I'd review them two or three times. Uh, whether that be the night before or up in the class right before the PC, a lot of reviews, a lot of notes. Absolutely, all the instructors have been phenomenal to work with. Uh, if you were ever struggling with something, uh, you can always ask for an instructor assist. They're here to help. They're here to guide you on the right path. They're not, no, nobody's here to watch you fail. We're all a team and we're all trying to get, you know, up moving and grooving to the highest capability. The hard, hardest part of tech school for me personally was going through all the forms and the paperwork. Uh, a lot of stuff to remember when it comes down to that. Uh, maintenance codes, how malfunction codes, learning through the TOs and finding the exact specifics of what you need in order to work on the aircraft. That was a little bit difficult for me, but again, with these instructors, they make everything possible. I would tell myself not to stress. Uh, it's all gonna come, uh, whether it be naturally or working for it with the notes. I mean, you set yourself up for success and it really pulls through. I'm Airman Basic Francis Rufino from Omaha, Nebraska, and I received the top grad award for the Aircraft Hydraulic System Apprentice course.